In this video, we're going to take a look at an introduction to coordinates. So the first question here is what do coordinates show? So coordinates show the position of a point on a graph or grid. What you can see here is we have two axes. I have the x-axis here, that's the horizontal axis. And I have the vertical axis here, which is the y-axis. So for GCSE maths, we take a look at coordinates in 2D. That means we have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. The x coordinate always comes first, and then that's followed by the y coordinate. If I pick a point here, let's say 3, 2, that means we now go 3 units to the right here in the x direction. So we'd start here at 0, 0, so there's just another point here. 0, 0 is what we call the origin. Okay, and sometimes you might see that given with a little O next to it here to represent the origin here. We go three units to the right, that's the x coordinate. So three units to the right, let's say there, and then we go up two units here because the y coordinate is positive two. We then go up two, we say our point is there. So that's three units along and two units up there. Okay, and that would be our point there, three, two. Okay, so like I said, the x coordinate here tells you how many units you go across either to the right or left. And then the y coordinate here tells us how many units we go up or down. So, for example, if I had, say, minus 2, minus 1, now because my x coordinate here is negative, that means we now go to the left. So I go two units to the left here for 1, 2. Let's just say that's there. And then we go down one unit because this is negative. So it's minus 1, that means we go down one unit, let's say there. So meeting those there, we get that point there of minus 2 minus one okay like we said three units to the right um, and then two units up and then same again here we now go two units to the left and then down one unit okay so it's a very quick introduction there but that is all we really need now for our introduction to coordinates what we'll do now is just take a look at one quick practice question so we just take a look at this question here we're asked to plot the following points on the grid below so for a i've got three zero that means we go three units to the right so one, two, three. And because the y coordinate here is zero, that means we don't go up any units and we also don't go down any units. So we just stay where we are. But with this point here, I'm gonna call that A, that A there. Let's say I label that as A. So for B then, minus five, four. Remember we start with the x coordinate, that means we go five units to the left because that's negative. That's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. And then we go up Four units because that's positive four. So one, two, three, four. That's my point there. So that's B. Label that as B there. So for C then, that's two minus two. So we now go across two units to the right. So remember it goes X first, then Y. So two units to the right. So one, two. And because that's negative here, we go down two units. So one, two there. That gives me the point C there. And then finally for D here, we've got the point zero minus four. So the X coordinate here is zero, so that means we don't go any units to the right, and we also don't go any units to the left here. That means we just stay along this line here. And then my um, Y coordinate here is minus four, so that means we now go down four units because that's negative. So we start here, go down four, one, two, three, four there. Okay, and there we have it. So that was for D, so I just labeled that on my grid as well. That's the point D. Okay. And there I have it. So that you can see coordinates, nothing too challenging. Just remember that our coordinates always start with the X coordinate followed by the Y coordinate. Okay. And there we have it. So that brings the end of this video on our introduction to coordinates. In the next video, we're going to take a look at exam revision or coordinates.